We have a warning for parents tonight. There is a real-life dangerous game of hide-and-seek underway with apps that could let predators into your child's bedroom. Apps like Snapchat, Kick, and Live Me allow anonymous communication with anyone, anytime. As Channel 2's Sarah Donchi shows, as investigators say Live Me, with its 20 million users, allows live streaming, which could link children with dangerous adults. <laughs> This girl is clearly underage, but giving anyone online a live glimpse as she dances provocatively in her bedroom. It's on an app called Live Me. On it, we quickly discovered frightening examples of child exploitation. More than 800 people watching, sending her comments like, love you, kiss me, and things too sexually explicit for TV. It's open for anybody to ask them to do anything. Here we see two girls, likely not even in their teens, chatting with more than 100 viewers. Oh my God, 132 people. Oh. Hoping for internet fame, rewarded with prizes and followers. Oh my God, thank you for sending gifts, everyone. Oh. Having conversations with people hiding behind anonymous usernames. You have Snapchat? Go to Snapchat. Tell us your address so we can send this. No, heck no. No, don't do that, please. Don't do it. The girl's parents clearly have no idea. We might do a live stream at 1 a.m. And they'd be shocked to see what happens next. One of the girls gets changed in the back of the room, stripping down to underwear as someone with the username Dog12 encouraged the girls to take everything off. It is happening everywhere, worldwide. Special agents Bernard and McDonald are undercover investigators with the FBI's Crimes Against Children Task Force. They can't single out particular apps, but shared concerns about live streaming sites. The hunting ground of individuals that have a sexual interest in children has relocated to online. I don't think any parent would, would be okay with strangers visiting their child in that child's bedroom at night. That's essentially what some of these smartphones and applications allow a predator to do. I'm doing good, how are you? Among the more concerning features, location services, which can be used to pinpoint exact locations within 10 feet. On the app, it says sexual or violent content is strictly prohibited. All violators will be banned. Live Me administrators say employees are looking for inappropriate and illegal content, but it continues. A lot of girls in my school have it, and uh, they wanted me to download it, so I guess I could watch them live. While the kids in this family knew about the app, the parents had no idea. There's ways that we can protect for things, um, but if we don't know about it, you know, I, I wasn't aware about it until today. But my kids won't be on it. The organization Safe Teen cautions parents Live Me isn't the only app that could let children be vulnerable to child predators. We've put a list of some other sites on clicktohouston.com and we've put precautions the FBI recommends parents use to help ensure children's safety online. Sarah Donchi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.